My name is First Lieutenant Rob Hepburn. I'm a platoon leader with Bull Troop, 1st Squadron, 2nd Cavalry Regiment. So the objective of this training is to familiarize our squads with firing with live rounds. So the objective of this support by fire was to provide suppression on this village so that the decisive operation could move into the village uh, and clear it. Getting online quickly, uh, especially when dismounting from the vehicles, is extraordinarily important um, because uh, the, the enemy can hear the vehicles approaching from a considerable distance, um, so especially when you have a vehicle drop off, the enemy is either already firing upon you or very quickly preparing to do so. So uh, getting out of the vehicles and immediately engaging and providing that suppression to get their heads down uh, is the only way that you can stay safe in an actual mission. Communication between the gunner and the assistant gunner is key. Uh, the gunner is there to shoot the targets, but the assistant gunner is there to help them, controlling rates of fire and taking directions from the squad leader. Uh, so keeping that assistant gunner close and or preferably on top of the gunner allows them to communicate even while uh, an M240 Bravo or Lima is shooting. Uh, they get loud, so keeping those communications efficient, quick, and precise in order to close with and destroy the enemy. So the communication between the two gun teams to talk the guns is how we ensure we don't spend all of our ammo immediately. Uh, sustained firefights can last some time and we don't bring a million rounds. Uh, so in order to use just a single uh, UBL in an iteration, the squad leader is working to establish rates of fire and he's telling the two guns to switch off. Um, so you know that the, the guns are doing well when they both run out of ammo at about the same time. That means they're maintaining a similar rate of fire and hopefully it's the rate of fire that the squad leader was asking them to produce. So with 2nd Cavalry Regiment being Striker Infantry, uh, especially Striker Infantry equipped with the ICVD, the Dragoon, uh, we bring a lot more to the fight with our weapon squad than you would uh, in a light infantry. Uh, the strikers have uh, 50 cal, they have javelins, uh, they have uh, another 240, uh, and the main cannon on the Dragoon, which is a 30 millimeter cannon. Uh, so instead of the weapon squad coming there and just using two 240s plus some AT4s and some javelins, they were able to use a third 240 along with an M2 50 caliber machine gun and they would be able to use the main cannon on the uh, Dragoon, uh, which gives them significantly more suppression and the ability to take down many more and much stronger vehicles. All in all, it's been a, it's been a great training and everyone's learned a lot and hopefully we are a more lethal and more decisive uh, unit in the future.